today's video, I'm going to show you how to get a pretty good little four-man pressure out of the 335 penny. This is going to be a really good blitz. It does have potential to come A-gap, and it is a different setup than a lot of people are running at this point in the year. So basically, the way this blitz is going to work is we are going to take advantage of kind of an overload concept. And what we're going to do is we're going to come out and saw blitz three, and we're just going to shift our defensive line away from the running back. So we're, in this case, we're going to shift them to the left. And instead of crashing out like most people do, we're going to crash our defensive line to the left, and we're going to stand about right in here, and we're going to basically target this tackle. And then we're going to take this linebacker, and we're just going to put him in coverage on whoever we want. And what you're going to see here is a lot of times this little defensive tackle will glitch through the A-gap. Now, if the defensive tackle does not come completely free through the – or the defensive end does not come completely free through the A-gap, you will still get the edge pressure in this defense. So this is what makes it super good is you got potential, as you see right there, we get it. You have potential to be able to get A-gap pressure and B-gap pressure. Now let's say that our opponent flipped their formation. All we would need to do with our defense here is we would just basically do the same thing. Instead, we're just going to flip our setup where we're crashing now to the right, and then we're going to drop this guy out. And what you will see a lot of times will happen is this time we got to disengage to the B-gap on the right side. But a lot of times this will still come through the A-gap. It somewhat is hash mark dependent, I will say. And the cool part about this defense is you don't even have to really um, – you don't even have to necessarily change anything as you see that nickel corner just kind of travels. So we just need to adjust his zone basically. Um, but you'll see here. Let's go through. And you see that time blitz got a little bit picked up there on that right side. And I'll actually show that blitz – if we were to if we were to flip our bunch, let's just for sake of illustration, let's just show it like this. Because the one thing that I am noticing here is that we do have a little bit of a uh, better A gap blitz angle off of the right than we do off the left side. And you see that just triggers a B gap if they flip it. But in general, if they have their running back to this side of the field, this is a this is a really good blitz, and I'm only sending four people, guys. This is, I mean, what other a gap blitz do you know that only sends four that gets a guy off the edge if the a gap doesn't come in? Like that's a pretty good little defense. So this is a very good little uh, a gap blitz concept. Again, we're just going to shift away from the running back side, man up that linebacker on the running back side on the running back, and then if you stand a little bit more like here. It'll probably make that A-gap a little bit better. Sometimes they'll try a spin move, which will kind of dumb out, dumb out the blitz. One other tip that I have for you, um, if you really want to get this A-gap to come in, I like to switch sticks, so I'm not going to like – I like to have my user on his own. But if you really want the blitz to come in, if you blitz your user, it's almost going to guarantee that that blitz will come in a little bit better just because the targeting of the offensive line, it's going gonna, it's gonna to target a little bit better, uh, a little bit more in your favor. And we'll show that from this angle as well. So you see how when I blitz my user, it kind of like it kind of pushes me into the tackle. That's really what I want, as you see there. And then that time, it's so close to coming in on that other side. We just can't quite get it. But we are still able to get the edge pressure. Even if they're able to pick up the A-gap, we're going to get this edge pressure that's really effective as well. Um, so in general, this is one of my favorite little defenses right now uh, in the game. I think it's super good. And because as you see here, it's either going to come – through the left side A gap, the right side B gap, or the right side edge. It's only sending four. And then if they do block somebody, um, it doesn't always pick everything up here. So if they do block a running back, this is a pretty good method for trying to pick the splits up. But see there, the A gap still comes in against the blocked running back. So it's not just like you have, you know, it's not just like, oh, I just blocked my running back and I picked this up. There are some serious things you have to do um, to, to truly be able to pick up this defense, which I really like about it. And I think it makes it one of the better defenses, uh, obviously, in the game. I've got a full ebook on it. I just updated the defensive ebook in my school community. Uh, it's only $10 to become a member of the school site, and it gets you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. Everything that we've been releasing over the course of College Football 25, you'll get immediate access to all of that. And the other cool part about this uh, school site is you're always getting all of the updates as well. So uh, I think that's a super big benefit, um, especially at this point in the year when, when things literally change like by the minute. Um, this, is, this is a really, really cool little defense. There I was just kind of tinkering with contain, see if I could change anything. But in general, I love this defense. I think it's super effective, guys. All you got to do is shift away from the running back, crash to that side, 
and then basically try to get that tackle to engage with you. And you're either going to get that a gap, you're going to get that instant win, or you're going to get that that disengage off the other side of the formation. Uh, but in general, this is in my opinion, one of the best blitzes in the entire game. It's not something that they can just block a running back and, and be uh, taken care of, and the blitz comes in really, really fast. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my full 335 Penny defensive ebook, it's available by becoming a member of our school community. The link to sign up for that is in the description below.